What is the crack my fellow gamers, Sir Dazza here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are covering part 3 of Classic Medieval for the PS1. So we finished off on the Pumpkin Serpent the other night. But before all that, there is a little something that I meant to do in the last video but completely forgot about. We're going to go all the way back down to Dan's Crypt. There is an area in here where there is, a, there is a secret area in here that you cannot access without a hammer or a club. Now that I have both, I'm going to run back in here and grab the treasures inside. So this is going to take two seconds, I'm just going to grab the treasure. And set a shield. Come on, eh? Should be more money up here. A few, a few daggers. Yeah. Grab your hands on the hammer here. And there's the hidden area there. Smack it down with the hammer. There we go. It's a nice life battle. And a bit of money. And there we go again. So that's the secret area there. An extra life battle. And the hundred gold coins. So that's that one done. I just wanted to get it out of the way before we got stuck in. Yeah, so we're gonna go back to where we were originally uh, setting out. Onto the sleeping village. So the sleeping village now is an important mission. Because you have to take great care, observe. As you see, the villagers are possessed, so you cannot kill them. It's tempting at times, but you can't kill them. Poor villagers, the master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. Yes, and you have to seek out too. You just have to be. Very careful, because they're everywhere. So just do not lay your hand on them, because as you've seen there, the... Oh, I fell ahead there. Just read this message real quick. Your chalice is nearly, is over half full. And if you kill the villagers, it takes away from the chalice amount, so you have to be very careful not to accidentally slash them with the sword or squash them with the fucking hammer. It's tempting, believe me. The way they just pursue you like a, like a bad smell. So I'm over here into here. So do that later. I first need to get the red ruin which is a top here we held up by the water fountain so what we have to do here is turn off the water which you do by coming down here and hitting this switch and that lets down the red river there you go this door here. Now this, there is a lot of uh, areas you can, a lot of books here you can read. It's more just for literature than nothing else. Just gives you a little history of the history of Gallimer, all the characters like Zarok, Dan, King Peregrine. I'm not going to waste my time or yours by reading through all of them. If you're playing this game yourself, just have a quick read. It's quite interesting to know the history. Go grab this crucifix, book, crucifix uh, cast. You're going to see why I'm going to do that later on. As I say, I went in to the start, I went into the church, which is missing a crucifix. Completing that crucifix is essential for progressing forward. And you will see why now in a minute. 
So, you see me open that door there. Open this here with the yellow. Hitting that, as you see there, that opens the hatch. Blue, the blue, uh, the blue room opens that down to here. And come in here. The green, the green room is actually up here. You have to make your way up here. Bloody camera angle. It's for the god never uses it. So what you can do, you can stun them by hitting them with the dare and dash guys. Don't we don't need the green room. I'm gonna go back down. To here. Open this here. Hit the switch to lower the tension for the crucifix box, you'll see it now in a second. See it was up here you needed to hit the switch to grab it, to lower it down. Bitch hit me with a fucking frying pan. You're lucky I'm being nice You can hit these here, some of them have coins in it. Not all of them. Some of them. So you go back up here. Now we have got the crucifix cast and the bust. So we're gonna to go to a little area called the blacksmith. And who have we got now? With some guards around us. Hurry comrades, tear this place apart! If we don't find the Shadow Artifact, Lord Zarak will have us mocking out the demons for the next millennium! I have to end on the Follow them here. Boom, he missed. Good night. So they're just all the way around the town now. They're looking for the same thing you're looking for. So going in here, this is the blacksmith's uh, workstation. So we'll have a quick read of this very quickly. is make a crucifix guys and you're going to see why it's so important to make that crucifix. So the first thing we do is we the crucifix cast in first and you get the landlord's bust and we're going to do it on the old fashioned bellows so you're going to jump in this bit here just keep jumping up and down and it's going to form a crucifix. Come on, shouldn't be taking too much longer. There we go. And we got ourselves a crucifix. Now, we want to make our way back to the church and put that crucifix in. And church is in here. Here we go. So, as you see, it's Mr. Crucifix. We're going to put it there and watch what happens. Ha ha! A safe key. These are both looking for a thing called the Shadow Artifact, which unleashes the Shadow Demons. So, you're doing it for the right reasons, but they're doing it for the wrong reasons. So, I'm Good night. Now, we have unlocked an area to where we can find that shadow artifact, which is right here somewhere. We get so easily lost in this fucking game. Yeah, in here, here we go. Let's just that here, make sure not to kill him. So we've opened a gate into a secret area. Hey! Here we go. So this leads us into, I think this is the mayor's house. The town mayor. 
Let's get out of here. Couple of enemies here, let's kill them. There we go. There's the cheese. Woohoo! Ooh, money! Very nice. There's the challenge there. We'll be back for that in a couple of minutes. Yeah, it's up here. So you basically jump on these hay bales. Across here. Across here. So there's you doing it like Santa Claus. You are jumping down the chimney. Hey! And there is the safe which holds. The shadow artifact. There you go. And hit this switch. Opens the gate to the way out. There we go. We just have to kill a couple more enemies. And come back and grab the chalice. So that's that. We have the shadow artifact. There is money somewhere. Yeah, over here. It's only 10 times, but you know, it all adds up. Every little area, every little bit helps. Not to say, not to say, Tesco. Every bit helps. I'm gonna hint Tesco in medieval times, but you know, you get me, you get me drift. Alright, let's make our way over to the exit. Kill these fuckers of guards. Finally, fucking mate. Oh, here we go. Okay, put on the enchanted sword. Charge it up. And kick your ass. Oh yeah! That's what I'm talking about. You missed. Lovely. Told you it was powerful. Now we're gonna go back and grab the chalice real quick. This place is a fucking maze. I knew it, yeah, through here. Come on, the rounds are in the ass. There we go, yep. Boom. And we're going to jump down and make our way out. There's some orders here by Zarek. Have a quick read of that. Ah, uh, good old Zarek. You always have a wicked sense of humor, don't you? <laughs> All right. Back to the Hall of Heroes. Up we go now. Upstairs. Who do we have this time, I wonder? Let's go right this time. Uh, it's herself. Now, this one, I remember her name. I think she has the spear for you. Dan, Dan, Dan. Tell me, what's a warrior queen got to do to meet someone like you? <laughs> Don't be shy, baby. I've seen you giving me the eye. You may be weak and feeble like old men, but I like you, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming on to Oh, I love a man who doesn't talk back. I think if you return, I may take you for my husband. Mm -hmm. hey. Now listen up, sugar. Your bow and arrows are fine for itty bitty jobs, but if you want to pack some serious heat, you should take this spear. Hell yeah. Think of me when you throw it. 
Yeah, this spear is absolutely lethal. It's great, it's extremely long range. It doesn't come in much quantity, but it packs a serious punch for the few of them that you have. So I would use it at, for long range targets. It's very powerful. Very rarely misses. All right, so we are making progress. We're going to move on now to the Asylum Grounds. Save it really quick before we move on. And any stupid accidents happen. I think because maybe this is on the PS4, it's, it was unlocked. It, there's just a couple of um, weird glitches. We're rocking them out. Yes, so the Asylum Grounds. This one is particularly interesting. This one is all about puzzles. How do you like these puzzles? Did you tell them to be friends and family? And do they have great fucking conversations about it? Yes, so we have to seek out Mr. Jack of the Green. You bastard. Yeah, it's the other. Voila, ah, look how powerful that is. So Jack of the Green is down here. Greetings, Sir Fortescue. My name is Jack of the Green. I am the master of riddles, and this maze is my domain. You are free to leave, but only once you've answered four riddles. Puzzles so fiendishly difficult, so perplexingly complex, that no man has ever solved them. Ha, ha, ha. Now, try my first riddle. <clears throat> At night they come without being fetched. By day they are lost without being stolen. Hmm, interesting. So, please have a think of that, tell me what, what, you, what comes to mind. Oh, the dragon throwing fire at me here. Yeah. Right. So, the answer to that riddle is... Stars. So you have to go around in this area and look for stars. That's one. And a little fuck up. That's the next star. The rest of them are down here. some of these. Okay, another fucking two down. There's the last one. Okay. There's one left. Did I get the one in here? I didn't, I missed it. There is there beside the bell. But my star riddle was but a trifle. I always like to begin with an easy one. Return hither, you will not find my next conundrum so simple. Uh, this one isn't particularly difficult. Uh, it's just all the timing. I live for laughter. I live for the crowd. Without it, I am nothing. 
I think the answer to that is very straightforward, but nowadays there is actually two answers for that riddle. And it is in down here somewhere. The gateway to it. Yes, it is in here. Oh, the shield. So it's so many other thumbs. So here you go. It's a clown. So basically what you have to do here is turn these on the smiles all facing the clown. But yeah, only have a certain amount of time and if you hit them the wrong way, see what happens. You have to this one takes a bit of time. So just bear with me. If I go a bit quiet, don't be alarmed. Because this can get particularly frustrating. didn't take as long as it was go thought it was going to take. The very first time I played this game it took me like 15-20 minutes to get them right. You just have to be a little patient with it. So back to Jack of the Dream, Jack of the Dream, Jack of the Green for puzzle number three. Face like a tree, skin like the sea, a great beast I be, yet vermin frighten me. There we go. So have a little think about that one. So this area is now open. Yes. The sword goes down very quickly in this. But it's extremely powerful when it's active. That's the uh, only use when you're being surrounded by enemies, otherwise it's not very useful. So there's your answer right there guys. It is an elephant. So the actual part of this puzzle is actually right in front of you. See there? There's a mouse. Mice. So elephants are terrified of rats and mice. So we have to get our hands on the end chaos room. Should be around here somewhere. Let me just see if I can find it. In here. Is it in here? Can I remember? It is, yeah. Nothing this, in this area is quite normal. Grab that. That's our room out. So we can take the head off this lad now with our bow and arrow. We still shoot fire at you. There we go. you have. There is no rat. So basically the rat just follows you. Nice and slow. You don't want to go too far ahead of him or he won't keep up with you. Keep him kind of in your line of sight. Keep him away from that. See the cats there? Keep him away from them otherwise he'll run away. But there are mice are terrified of cats. So you know, it's kind of ironic. Kind of bring them along the side here. That's it. Up this way here, just keep them out of the line of the cats, and you should be fine. And there we go. Did you spot my bluff? I've 
pretended that riddle was hard, but in truth it was obviously an elephant. This time, however, I almost pity you. The answer to my next vexing enigma has eluded the finest minds of a whole generation. Come to me. In my own time. It's bombing time. Yes, it seemed out the kingdom of fairly there. There we should not for the chalice. No. And also, I don't find these puzzles particularly difficult, but if you've never heard of, if you're not really good at puzzles, this will really challenge you. It will really challenge the brain. Riddles are not difficult. As the common saying, as the Riddler would say in Batman, humans make them awkward. Riddles are actually quite simple if you just think about them for a couple of seconds. So this is the last one, here we go. I tolerate the moon and stars, I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight and you'll see me turn and run. Mm -hmm. So, have a think of that, guys. So we're gonna go back through here. This is where we go to do the last one. Up behind the elephant. in here. Yep, there we go. Which is figure ahead, Jeff. Yes. The answer is darkness. So I was wondering what these were standing around for. I was just messing around, and then I saw this. You basically, bring them to here. here. Wait for that little ding, and then you know you're doing right. Just a light button, probably. And then you go in here, I believe. Boom! It took me ages to come up with that darkness one. Very well. Outrageous as it seems, my fast intellect has been matched by your badly good brain. Return at once to the beginning of your craft. Oh. Yeah, the answer was darkness. When you think about it, it's actually quite straightforward. Grant you free passage through my maze. Find your own way out. Uh, he doesn't like to be bested by a skeleton light, huh? Ah, oh, that's funny. Pony shuttle. You're not the smartest person in the world, but you you beat a master of a maze, so you must be doing something right, sir. Then. So. This is the way out here now. One final... One final test. So, it's a game of chess. So, as you can see, just have to line them up the right way. So, there's a certain way of doing this. Just gotta hit them and then go into the... Go into the uh, knothead slot. That one in. You can hear them talk with themselves, I find this very funny. Oh, there's the second one though.
Oh my god, what is taking so fucking long? There we go. And again. Come on. My god, that took forever. Yes, so this is the entrance to the asylum. My god, I can't believe it took that long. There's just a certain way you have to do it. You have to be standing on, standing on certain steps. I don't play chess, so that's why it always takes me ages. I'm not fucking good at that kind of thing. Up we go again. Oh, what's this fuck I've got to say? Back and forth like a supernatural yo-yo. Maybe the master will make it harder to find those magic egg cups. Okay, whatever you say. It's not gonna fucking stop me though. Up we go again. Let's go left again. Let's see what happens here we got this time. The fair idea who it is. Ooh. Okay. We've got three people to choose from. So we have La Axeman, Sir Raven Hooves, or the Shield. I think for a change of pace, I'm gonna go with the Shield. Ah, Herr Fortescue, you are back on the battlefield, yeah? This is good. People say to me, Stungard, what do you think of this sword or that axe? But I say to them, NINE! Modern warfare is a question of science, the science of shields! Yeah. I think maybe you should take my shield, yeah? It is magic here for this cure. Some say it is better to have a magic sword than a magic shield, but I say to you, this is rubbish! Okay. So long as you use it properly, the shield will make you invincible! Nobody's invincible. But it's a good start. So the gold shield. Okay, over 400 damage with that. So there we go. No, there's a German accent, yeah? He's he talking very angry, yeah? A guten Tag. You must not listen to who talks so aggressively like that, yeah? I am Sir Daniel Fortescue, yeah? You fucking give me what I want and you fuck right off. Yeah? Now I want to head into the asylum, yeah? I'm going to stop talking like this because I don't know what I fucking sound like with this stupid German accent, huh? Okay. Okay, that's enough of that. I'm not particularly fond of the fucking German language, never really was. A lot of people do like it because it's a really rough language. Me, not really. Do not like it. Alright, we're inside the asylum now. I want to try out this shield. This protects for 400 damage. Go. Sword. Come on, baby. Can't just fucking tuck out the shield. The shield can be recharged up, so it's not too bad. In we go here. And we're in with a bunch of fucking mad aegis now. Wait for them. Just that. That's so far. Oh, here they come. I think I have a couple of other shields here. I have. I will go to the silver shield. So that will come to me because I've taken a look at me for a zombie. So the enemy is so small. I've taken a couple of looks at me for a shield. Oh. 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 
I'm gonna check the brutes. I'm gonna use the hammer for these lads. That's not how I'm going to do that means. Thank you, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. The game is messing up, it's happened a couple of times already. So, uh, I apologize for that. I'm sure it's not going to stop it. Fucking mad dad just coming at me. One of the things I saw in the game is like, I saw some things. Straight jackets in the back. One loud fucking laugh like gotcha. You're a fucking maniac. Then you hang out in asylum somewhere. What the hell do you think you're expecting? Alright. Top up some stuff here. I'll, uh, I'll uh, bring that back up and uh, repair the shield a bit. Grab some supplies. I'll do for now. I'm going to waste all my money. I'm nearly out. Here we go. <laughs> These guys are fairly easy to beat when you've got that sword enchanted. Go. Second dash unlocks the present self oh, in the mirror. Yeah, glad to see you. That was a bit trying to force me to hand over the shadow artifact. He means to release the demons from their tomb under the enchanted forest, but I said to myself, You can't touch me, you lanky windbag. I'm the mer. Ah, that told him. But then you have me locked up in here with all these nutters. Oh, Terrible. I haven't managed to get a word of sense out of anyone in weeks. Right. Well, I'll see myself out, thanks. You have a good look around, lad. Zarax left some stuff lying about that I think you might find useful. Yes. I've got ourselves a dragon gem. Very nice. We've got ourselves a money on that side, so I'm just going to top up here and help you. Took a fair old beacon in that. Mm. Alright, 
finished. We're not doing too bad. All right, on to the Hall of Heroes. That was an awkward battle, but we got through it. It's normally very simple. But just with the fucking uh, the controller or the game messing up there, it just took a little bit longer than usual. Don't worry. I am persistent if nothing else. All right, where do you go now? So you got the shield. So I'm pretty sure it's Raven who's in. Just have a look. Yeah, we've got the axe. We're going on to next. The axe might come in handy for the enchanted earth. Hmm. Actually, no. I'm going to need. I'm going. I could also use the new arrows. I'm going to, go to Raven Hoods. Oh, Danielle, I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, like? I do fancy a little gamble, like my French friend. We have a flaming longbow, flaming arrows, a very good indeed. We'll just get the fuck out of here. Part of my French. Okay, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I'm sorry it took so long with a couple of hiccups along the way, but we got through it. So, uh, we're about halfway through now. We've got 10 of the chalices, 10 to go. Um, in this next video, I'm going to explain the mythology of the reason that I took this route. Um, I have a limit on how, how much I can upload here, so I'll explain that in the next video and not waste time explaining in this video. So, um, if you like the content, guys, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. Um, and you can also follow me on Instagram, guys, the link will be in the description. So, until next time, have a good one, and remember, check those corners. <laughs>